Mr. Lawrence Gowan one more time there. You can tell he's concerned. He's concerned about you. He, he wants you to be better, to feel better, to, to listen to something from sticks that might lift you up on a, a hormonal level even. He never ceases to amaze me. How about you? Sad news about my other 12 string. Put it on an airplane, they broke its neck. No! We can fix it though, but I'm bringing out the holiday 12 string tonight. For your enjoyment. It's big, but it's big and wide and powerful, and uh, I'm hoping that some good things will come out of it tonight. It's a nice, intact green neck. We're having fun tonight. Y'all are sure a lot of fun. I mean, you know, is this a Thursday night? You know, songs are such funny things. You could, you don't, they're just subjective because you'll write something and you'll think, this is really good. You'll go listen to it the next day and you'll go, this is the, the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm not playing it for anybody. And then somebody might say, no, no, you're wrong. No, I like it. And it just, it's, it's just how you feel about it. And this particular song, if I'd had a crystal ball when I wrote this song, and I looked in there and said, many, many years from now, you'll be standing in this place that hasn't been built yet in California and playing this song. And when you said the name of it, people reacted. I just said, this thing is busted. But here we are tonight, and it, this song I wrote in my mother's house one summer afternoon. I wasn't in sticks. This song just came to me like it was on the radio, and I wrote it down, remembered it. Within a few weeks, I got a call from James Young. He says, come on up to Chicago. Bring your songs with you. This became the title track of the first album we did a little while after that. Just for you tonight on this beautiful night in California, Crystal Ball. The crystal ball Soon as I find myself The crystal ball 